We are still here at Makeup Effects Live at IMATS. It has been a heck of a day. And it's been a wonderful day. We have had a round robin of some of the leaders of the makeup effects field, and now we're joined by Alan Apone. Well, hello. How are you, I, Alan? You know, if I was any better, I'd be you. What? I don't think that's, is that a compliment? <laughs> that is a huge compliment. Well, I'll take it. That's Thank a you. huge compliment. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. A pleasure. Such um, a pleasure. Alan, in addition to being uh, a brilliant makeup artist, is also the owner of MEL, which stands for Makeup and Effects Laboratory. Yep. And you guys are known for your, your line of packs. Pack, uh, yeah, uh, packs our PAX paints. paints, PAX makeups. And makeups. among other things. Yep. Um, in fact, uh, who was it? Rob Berman. Gave right. you a nice shout out earlier. Yeah, uh, Rob Berman did on the, on, on the uh, makeup that he did, and also Steve Laporte. Uh, Steve Laporte, his, and we'll be seeing that well, up yeah. next, I think. Yeah, he, he did uh, used our packs on that as well. Very cool. Um, beautiful. Both those makeups are incredible. Well, it's because incredible. of the paint. Uh, uh, of exactly. I don't want so if you like you those know. makeups, it's Mel. It's That's all right. Mel. It's all Alan. <laughs> has nothing to um, do with the incredible, talented artists never. that did them. It's the products. No. It's all about the products. Exactly. Uh, let's... For those of you who don't know uh, Alan's history in Hollywood, it's a storied one, and I'd like to talk you through some of this man's credits. Um, let's start back, and we'll work our way oh, forward. Oh, kidoki. Friday the 13th, part three. Yep. My Friday dad the... worked on yep, that movie. Yep, exactly. He did. I worked with your dad on that movie. Yeah. Uh, uh, Steve exciting. Miner directed, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. Steve uh, Miner directed. Super Mario Brothers. We also had... Who else worked on Super Mario? Uh, Rob. Rob Berman. Rob did. Rob Berman. Uh, Gettysburg, yep. Three Kings. Unbreakable, yep. uh, Snakes on a Plane. Snakes on a Snakes Plane. Snakes on a Plane. I'm tired of these <laughs> on the plane. plane. Yep. So, uh, Django Unchained, Iron Man 3, Avengers, Age of Ultron, and on TV, Pushing Daisies, Star Trek, Deep Space Nine. Yep. I think everyone at the show has worked on Star uh, Trek Everybody's at some worked point. on Star Trek, exactly. And, uh, and the band played on. He is uh, an Emmy nominee twice, uh, correct? Yes. A, and also has received a Cable Ace nomination uh, through the Hollywood Makeup Artist and Hairstylist uh, Guild. Right, and the Guild Award. And, uh, and I'm nominated this year for the Guild Award. And nominated this year. For, the, for uh, um, Captain America Winter Soldier. Fantastic. Yep. Uh, well, as, as you can tell, this man has seen it all. He's done it all. Done um, almost everything. Let's talk about your history in this business. Where did Most, it all start for you? Well, it all started with me wanting to play third base for the Yankees. And it led to making makeup. When I realized I didn't have that kind of talent, <laughs> I, I ended up in the hobby craft world doing, you know, actually just doing a, a varied number of jobs. And uh, through that, one of the guys I was working for, or with, actually, his uncle is Tom Berman. Right? So, so the Bermans gave so, you your entree so the into Bermans, the industry. Tom Berman is the one who really pushed me into, or got me started in effects. Is so, this around 77? This is 70, yeah, this is prophecy. Right around when my dad had When your his dad was at there, there, was there. So yeah. I actually apprenticed for your dad and for Tom. How did they treat you, Alan? They killed me. They killed you. Well, and you're your sitting dad, here, so you're not. Your dad, <laughs> there was a product we used to use to make molds called Gray Tuffy. Oh, yes. Right? Which I'm sure you know Spent about. Spent a lot of time with well, that stuff. Well, yeah. So your dad asked me to mix some Gray Tuffy. So I said, okay, I'll use it. And he goes, and I got to stick to mix it. He goes, no, 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 no. Use your hands. I said, my hands? He goes, hell yeah, use your hands. <laughs> so your dad That's really, the oldest one in the, the book. Exactly, and I fell right Don't for mix it. stone with Don't your... Don't mix Grey Tuffy Grey Tuffy with, with your, your hands. hands. That's fair. If you, if you take nothing else from this webcast, <laughs> do not mix Grey Tuffy no. with your hands. So they hazed you for a while they at did. Berman Studios. They did, at Berman Studios. And, uh, and where did you go from there? And then uh, right after that, I... Um, um, I had met, while I was on that film, uh, I was the set liaison, so I was on set for on Prophecy. And while I was there, I met a makeup artist. The makeup artist on the show is uh, Ron Snyder. Mm -hmm. Ron Snyder and I became really good friends. And Ron asked me one day, he said, would you, you, you want to work on somebody living? <laughs> <laughs> for, for a change? <laughs> for a change. And I said, I never thought about it. And he goes, do you, he goes well, do you want to learn makeup? And I said, okay. He said, well, you come in every morning with my call, and I'll teach you on the stand-ins. So for three months, I had sort of a private instructor, and he taught me how to do makeup. And right after that show ended, about two months later, he called me up and says, what are you doing? And I said, nothing. He goes, come here, I'm doing a show in Pasadena, I want, I want to talk to you. So I drove up to Pasadena and um, met him, and he goes, hands me a phone number. 
a name and a phone number on a piece of paper. He says, call this guy. It's a movie. I want you to, I told him you'd do the movie. And I said, oh, is this the guy I'm going to be working with? He goes, no, that's the production manager. And I said, well, who am I working with? And he goes, nobody. It's you. You're going to do the show. And I said, I've never done makeup. I and now you're the department the head. Now I'm the department head. Oy. I said, how am I going to do that? He goes, I've seen what you can do. You can do it. Just go do it. <laughs> and I said, I said, I can't. I said, he says, look it. Just go call the guy. You're going to do it. So I went and I... You know, I said, okay. So I called the guy, and he says, yeah, come and do the show, and it's in Macon, Georgia. It's on what location. What was the show? It was a movie called Wise Blood. Mm -hmm. And then I find out that it's directed by John Huston. John, the legendary, the legendary John Huston. John Huston. John Huston. You are and now the de department head of, of, John, of a John Huston movie, and you've never department never, head before. Never, not only not department head, but never done makeup for film. <laughs> Everything I'd done was a, on a stand-in in the makeup department, that didn't go on camera. So I have no idea. So, I, and. And you pulled just, it off. I pulled it off. And, and the rest is history. Yeah. And that's how I started. And uh, obviously, you kept very busy as a makeup artist. Yep. And when did Mel come about? Right when did after you found that. The 1979. Mm -hmm. uh, founded Mel with uh, Douglas White. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, him and I started the company and um, in a small little thousand square foot room. And now we're. 20,000 square feet in, in the same area. We just took over the whole complex. You have a helicopter helipad exactly. on top. <laughs> I wish. See, you got the yeah. indoor swimming pool, exactly. which yeah, I well, love. I got that, you know, I got that idea nice. from your dad. From my dad, yeah. yeah, it's yeah very yeah. nice, very nice. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it is great to see so many, at this show, obviously, so many makeup artists who have founded companies to serve the business. Because yeah. who better, who knows better than a makeup artist well, the, yeah, what exactly. the industry needs. Yeah, and that's, you know? that was really the whole idea behind the product line, because I started out with um, <clears throat> Brad Look and I decided to, you know, I told Brad I wanted to do packs um, because, there, you know, it was very limited what you could get. And I use packs a lot when I work uh, for a lot of different things, tattoo covers mm -hmm. especially, um, but for a lot of the things that we do. And so Brad and I sat down and we came up with 64 colors to begin with, and now we're over 140 colors. But it was, the whole thing had to be something of ease of use for for makeup artists when they work. And not just for us on set, like for people who, you know, like that do brides and, and they're personal makeup artists for other, you know, and other uh, crafts and stuff. So uh, we, the whole goal was to make sure that we did things that were usable, easy to, you know, easy to use and um, were cost effective mm -hmm. as well. And Pax is one of those products. I mean, Dick Smith originally exactly. developed Dick Pax. Dick Smith developed Rose it. and acrylic paint. Right. And it's still the best, one of the right. best solution for uh, a lot of things. For so many things. Yeah. And we, what we've done is we've taken Dick's formula and gone further with it mm -hmm. and uh, made it more into almost like a cream makeup. Mm -hmm. So uh, the ease of use uh, uh, of it is amazing. So you guys, you got to check out the Mel site, uh, if you look at the description right. of, the, of the video you're watching, scroll down to Alan and you're going to see a link to the site. Check right. it out. It'll be melproductsusa.com. Melproductsusa. Check it out. And we have some demos. Now, I don't know that the demos are ready. Uh, that, uh, they should be. Do we want to check in? Uh, we have two demos coming by. That coming down, done by um, uh, uh, Nate Bright Nate and Drew Bright Talbot and, yeah, from Drew Face Talbot. Off. Yep, from Drew. From, yeah, Drew's from... Uh, Face off, amazing artist. They did beautiful work. Uh, everything's in fact on on Nate's. We uh, he's using our the new product that we have is uh, um, metallic packs. Metallic packs. Yeah. So and the, his makeup's done with the metallic packs and it's outstanding. Well, let's look at it. Let's we look have at to it. Level. First, before we bring them over, we need someone on the Stan Winston crew to go over, check the booth, check the status of the Mel makeups. Uh, Peter Gould, Jake, anyone from the crew, go check on the status. We want to bring them over. In the meantime, yeah. while we're waiting, you're Sam Jackson's guy. I have been for 17 years. Samuel L. Jackson calls one man when he needs his makeup done, and that's Alan Apone. What is it like to work with Sam in the makeup chair? What is it? You, tell me about that experience. Well, let me tell you. Sam Jackson is one of the, 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 the best actor you could ask for because, one, Samuel loves characters. Mm -hmm. So he, whenever he takes a role, the first thing he looks at is, how can I change? What can I do? What's gonna, what, what is going to embody this character? So him and I will talk about it. 
and I will do some renderings, uh, some computer renderings, or he'll just say, this is what I want. I want this, I want to do a nose, or I want to do, um, I want to change my color. Um, probably for Django, we originally, um, his original color was, we were going to go blue-black. We were going to go very dark. Um, but unfortunately, when we did the test, the thing that we found out because of the way that uh, Richardson was shooting it and the way Quentin wanted it, we didn't have enough light mm -hmm. to shoot that. So we changed him, and so we were sort of like a, a midnight brown mahogany raven color. Mm -hmm. So we, we uh, and we, what you see now is uh, uh, just, and he's wearing prosthetics and that. How is he with the, the application process? He is usually he, goes he, to sleep. Goes to sleep. He'll sit there and, you know, but it's really funny because you think that he doesn't pay attention, but if you, like, if I forget a step, if I, he'll go, yeah. hey, what about? The nose. Yeah. You forgot he, the nose. You forgot. <laughs> well, it's really funny. One day when we were doing um, uh, Winter Sol Captain America Winter Soldier, we were chatting. We were just having a good time. It was very fun, crazy that day. Got him all ready, put all his prosthetics on, and he walked out. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting there, and I'm going, I forgot something. There was something I didn't do. And all of a sudden, I look on the thing. Maybe? No, no, it was his beard. The, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, oops. I went, holy crap. And as I go to uh, go out the makeup trailer, he's walking in, and he goes, uh, the beard. You forgot something <laughs> there, Alan. You might want to have a so, checklist on the mirror yeah, next you time know, you, you work one out. Of those uh, things. Well, we have your first uh, demo here. We ah, have Nate this Bright. Is nice. Yep. Uh, let's invite him in and introduce us, Alan. Come on, boys. Hey, Nate. This hold on. Nate. I've got a microphone to hold up to your face. Fantastic. That's for you, Nate. Welcome hey. to the show. I hey, appreciate being here. Thank you. Uh, we understand that you have a demo you're doing for Alan do. over at the yep. mail booth. You want to tell us about it? Um, this is actually a three-piece foam that I uh, had the pleasure of putting together and painting. Um, kind of went in, no concept, and uh, pulled it out. Uh, really Absolutely. pleased with it. Uh, happy with the color and everything. Had a blast. I want to thank uh, Mel and everybody for giving me the opportunity. Absolutely. Uh, Alan and Lewis, definitely. What so. do you think of the, the Pax paints? Oh, love them. Mel Pax paints are fantastic. Yeah, this is the new, the new metallics. Oh, you yeah. did a spectacular job thank with you. them. They're fantastic. Great concept. And it's got, still got some translucency, which yep. is nice. Um, and talk to us about, you got a backstory for this character? I actually all? don't have a backstory. I feel kind of bummed. <laughs> that it, no I, backstory? I didn't get a chance to, to build one up real quick. And I hate corny backstories. So I don't want to come in here and just go off the top of my I head. have an idea. So right. if you're oh, watching this webcast, take a good look. Would you do a rotation for us? And uh, come up with a backstory for this character. Is he uh, a bounty hunter? Is he an accountant? Uh, what planet is he from? And we'll give Nate some ideas. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I can't wait to hear everybody's ideas. Uh, what do you think of the show so far, Nate? Oh, I love it. It's fantastic. Today's been even better. Uh, I'm glad that I can walk around now and get to meet people. And so I'm really How is it doing a demo with all eyes on you? Nerve wracking? Not so much. You know, I, I was afraid at first. Uh, yesterday, I was definitely afraid. Uh, today, not so much. It, it took me settling in, and I did that, and it's... Watching him work, I mean, it was great. I mean, because I was in the booth with him, and just like total focus, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, you can sit. You know, when you watch an artist, and they, you know, even if you you're not sure what you're gonna do, once you get that total focus, and he was just right there in the zone. In the zone. Uh, share that mic for me f yeah. for one second. Uh, tell us the name of your uh, your model. Uh, we did actually just go with Bounty Hunter was the name that we oh it's Bounty we Hunter we decided on originally yes. oh good oh, so oh you mean his what's the name of your model Gregory. Yes, Gregory Gregory okay hey hey Gregory hello uh, <laughs> can you breathe at all very little very little no, so you've got really a good, good ten minutes in the makeup before you die uh, yeah. very yeah. good <laughs> this is really good he opened up that nose hole so I can uh, breathe really well through it. It's a, I love that. This is my favorite interview so far. Can't speak, can't eat, can't drink. <laughs> so tell us how you came to Hollywood. Let's hear your life story. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I'm putting you. I'm kidding, <laughs> kidding you. We can't hear a word you're saying, <laughs> but this is fantastic. Not, um, you know what I love is that you didn't worry about his comfort. I think actor's <laughs> comfort is overrated. Uh, generally speaking. Generally speaking. Generally fine. speaking. <laughs> let's let the actors suffer through it, please. Um, well, it's a terrific makeup. Yeah. You want to tell us about the uh, the wardrobe, wardrobe, the costume work here? What is this from? That's Th actually that's this. actually from Star Trek. Oh, that's this from is from Star the, Trek. The, this this part. Fantastic. This is a Borg, it's a Borg piece. So he's part Borg, 
part bounty hunter. And the jacket? And the jacket's from the spirit. All oh. It's actually, it's actually Sam Jackson's jacket from the spirit. This is Sam Jackson's? Fantastic. And the shoes. And the shoes. Well, we got to get a clip here. Get your, can you get your feet up that high? Here, we got to see the shoes. Five, get to show the shoes. Those are also Sam's, you yeah. said? You are walking in Sam Jackson's shoes. How does it feel to walk in Sam Jackson's shoes? Awesome. He said it feels awesome. Um, well, thank you, Nate. This is terrific. Thank, thank you for so coming by. It. Thank you very much. And, Thanks, uh, and <laughs> please don't Gregory. die on us. <laughs> this is Gregory, fantastic. Thank you, Gregory. Uh, we have another demo from your booth. I don't right. know if they're standing by. It's, it's coming. coming. We'll, we'll vamp until then. And that's, that's going cool. to be Drew Talbot from Face Off. From Face Off. Is going to be bringing that, his model. And he did his, his model. Um, Julian. Julian. Amazing. And he did an amazing, just the, the makeup is great. It's, it's a, and it's an incredible use of color, what he did as well. Uh, his is all packs as well. But he used greens and yellows. Which are really tough to use a lot of times and oh, pull yeah. pull that off. And he his concept is really fantastic. So I'm I was really excited with that. And I actually got to help him a little bit. He he asked me to do a couple things, which is great. So I was just like, Yeah, Drew, you want me to help you? That's so cool. Well, so you know, it was nice. You kinda know what you're doing. Well so. yeah, but it's so cool. But you watch these you know, come on, I'm now I'm one of the elder statesmen of the industry, right? Right. So it's like I can remember being, you know, in the, you know when I was learning and stuff. And, but to work with these guys that have all this technology now mm -hmm. and the things that they come up with uh, and their talent, it's so amazing to watch. Let's talk about that, the next generation. I mean, there's a lot of 10 years ago, you know, where is this industry headed? It's a, yeah. the old guard who's going to replace. I see a huge new generation oh, it's, coming it's, up who are embracing huge, this yeah. and pushing it further and it's very exciting. Well, it's you know it's really cool about it. It's it's you know with the advent of CGI, you know, we we're doing a lot of mixed stuff which is great. I love it when CGI and and practical come together. But one of the things that we're seeing, I think, too, is that with with shows like Face Off and and um, uh, and the like, uh, they're really showing what you can actually do practical. There's so many things that you can still do practical that are, that are amazing. You look at what um, uh, Neil Gordon does on, on uh, Doctor Who. Yep. And he's still doing animatronics and stuff, and it's killer. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, it's, yeah. And it's fun. And, and uh, you know, the stuff that, you know, that, you, that these guys are coming up with just shows you how far you, you can still go a long way. Some people have asked us, won't you run out of things to teach through Stan Winston School? And we're no. like, no, because new techniques will always be always. invented. New approaches to old techniques will yep. be invented. And it's nice to see that there's still a lot of innovation going yep. on with this new, uh, with this new uh, generation. Um, we have ideas for a backstory. Uh, rejected bounty hunter, backstabbed by his own kind, Ooh. or a millionaire space playboy. Wow. I, can't, I think the jacket and I the boots say yeah, right? millionaire yeah. space playboy. I like it. I like Thank it. Thank you for that idea. Yeah, uh, definitely. And Jessica wanted to know how, was the, how the gun was made, but we lost Nate. Oh, uh, well, the gun was, yeah, because we made it at oh, MEL. So Jessica wants to know, how'd you make that gun? Uh, the gun was, uh, it was, parts were put together. I believe that gun was made by Don Coleman. Um, at, at MEL, and it was uh, fabricated parts from um, some of the stuff was actually turned on the lathe, uh, other parts were sculpted, and then some parts were uh, pirated off of other kit bashing. Other parts. Kit bashing, exactly, or kludging, yep. as I like to say, um, and put together. Well, I hope we get Drew in here because we are running out of time. We have two minutes. Are we going to get Drew over here? All right, we are hopefully going to squeeze Come Drew, on, Drew in. Drew. Because we have another segment to get to. I know. Uh, in the meantime, where can people find you? Obviously, there's the Mel website. Obviously can you the Mel say website. that again? The, the website is uh, Mel Products USA for the production. And then there's MEL EFX is the main company website. Um, and, and what about personally? personally? Are you accessible at all I'm via accessible Twitter? I'm accessible. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the... I am... My name, Alan Apone. Just... I'm open to anything. You guys have questions... I'm happy to answer them. Yeah, the door is open door to you with this gentleman. A-L-L-A-N-A-P-O-N-E. -L -L -E. There are links in the YouTube description below this video, and you can also Google him and find yep. out more. Exactly. Um, I, I think we're going to have to move on, but okay. if you'd like. Oh, here he is. Oh, he is. Oh, good. He's right here. 
Yay, just in time. Just in time, just the before. The second demo from Alan's booth. Mel, we have a face-off alum, uh, Drew Talbot. Come on in, boys. Come on in here, Drew. Julian, come over here. Hey, come over here. Hey, Hi. Drew. Beautiful work, beautiful work. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you for joining us. Uh, many of you recognize Drew from Face Off, and you've got a new character to show us. Tell us who, who you've brought. Uh, this is Helgor. He is the, uh, the lead warlock in Satan's army of evil warlocks from hell. Fantastic. And so a friendly guy. Yes. Yeah. He's cuddly. <laughs> He's very cuddly. Show and you've got, you've got a lot of great paint detail going on in, in this makeup. Oh, great yeah. fingers. You get your f Tell us uh, about your paint scheme and anything else uh, specifically about the makeup. Um, I, I just wanted to go in a different direction than you usually see demons. Um, I wanted something like that felt more earthy because usually I feel like demons, they, they always have the infernal color scheme, like blacks and reds and oranges. And so I thought, what if he's like an earthy demon, like... Maybe this particular warlock pulls his power from nature and turns it against man, something like that. And what is the name of your model? Uh, this is Julian. Here. <laughs> Julian de la Ciel. Yes. Yeah. Julian de la Ciel, one from of the, the stars Fosters. from the Fosters. Well, from let's Fosters. say hello. Can I borrow that for yeah. a second? How are you, Julian? I'm very good. Can you get into your demon character for a moment for us? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and how how's it feel? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's very good. And uh, when, when, you, um, when you lead your warlock ar devil army, uh, typically what is your strategy for, uh, you know, winning the battle? Well, you know, it's very different when um, you have little people and big people and you have to kind of go through and say, you do that, you do that. So delegation is the biggest delegation issue. Delegation is a, it's all <laughs> democracy, really. That's tough. That's tough. So we have, we have those issues in hell as well. Exactly. Hello. Oh, it's you know? very prevalent, yes. <laughs> How is Satan as a boss, generally speaking? Oh, I'm the boss. No, but it's... Oh, you're the boss above Satan? Of course. Does he know this? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Did we not tell him that? No, well, you and Satan have some talking to do. <laughs> after yes, this definitely, webcast. definitely is. Um, and uh, tell us how, tell us more. I mean, obviously, this is a head to toe situation. You've got body painting going on, you've got the prosthetics. You want to walk us through all of the elements that you brought together? Yeah, so um, the first thing I applied was um, uh, a Mel bald cap, um, and then uh, blended the edges with acetone, and then I have a, a neck blender piece for the back bald of Let's the bald cap. Turn you around a little bit, sorry. Yeah, no, it, it's I've never, not really no, showing. I can't see it. No. You covered all that work with it, your... Well, it's just basically to make the bald cap look better and fit better. Um, and then uh, a full facial prosthetic, uh, four individual horn prosthetics, uh, individual ear tips, uh, and then uh, a waist up body paint uh, all the way down the arms. Do you mind? No, I don't, not at all. Yeah. This is great work. Thank you. And this is all with the same PAX paints? Um, the, the two base layers are uh, Mel PAX. Uh, and then, uh, so the, the, the whitish flesh and the green are Mel PAX and the uh, the yellow uh, veining and the green veining are um, European body art uh, airbrush spray. Well, it's it's terrific work and it blends so nicely up into the makeup. Um, and this is all foam, uh, foam pieces. All foam pieces, yeah. Original stuff. Your stuff, uh, or is no? This actually, these are from from the Mel a Lab. movie that we did uh, called uh, um, Hollywood Adventure, Great. which is uh, Great. coming out this year. So you've kludged this together and created exactly. a whole new character. The, the ears and the, the horns are rubberware pieces. And there's, yeah, the, the horns are from rubberware. And then I made the finger extensions. All right. Well, you know you can find these uh, at Namie's guys, and you're going to get a 20% discount on rubberware. Um, these prosthetics you can't buy because they're from Those, your yeah. project. The, yeah. So you, you're out of luck for that. Uh, the makeup turned out beautifully. Thank you but very much. But the packs you can get. You can get the packs. The packs, absolutely. <laughs> at Mel. Um, oh, yeah. Well, that wraps up this segment. I can't think of a better way to go out than on the lead demon of Satan's warlock army. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah, you got it. Did I, get, I have it's it close? All of those things. Um, Want to thank Alan thank you very much. for being with us. Such a pleasure uh, to be here. Drew as well, thank and Julian, much. and uh, in absentia, Nate and his model, Gregory, Gregory. Gregory. Uh, for representing exactly. Mel. Uh, be sure to visit their links in the video description. And Drew... Your links are also in the video description. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, you, we've, we've 
without your permission. Sure. <laughs> we're telling people where to find you. By all means. Okay, good. Great. <laughs> uh, in our next segment, we are going to be joined by Steve Laporte and Tom Supranon. And uh, that should be a great segment. We have some other cool makeups to look at with those guys. So please Excellent. come back. And thank you guys for being thank with you. us. Thank you. Virtual yeah, claps thank you. in cyberspace. Woohoo! Uh, stick around. We're going to go to a break, and we will see you in about five minutes. Makeup Effects Live at IMATS 2015. Wave goodbye. <laughs>